Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page three. Page three. So this pattern is from the backgrounds collection. And it actually goes this direction. Um, so this is from the background collection. I'm using this paper from the background because it pulls in the background of page two. So I'm, I'm going to try to do a better job of talking about my design decisions as I go along because um, folks have asked me for that. So when I had designed page two, the next thing I want to do is pull in page three. And since I know they open up, they oppose each other, I want to make sure that whatever design decision I'm making here, you know, will create that flow. So the flaps are going to have this design, which comes in. I'm pulling back in from the bottom strip of page two. So that is how I came up with this design. So we are going to install our flaps. These flaps are six by six and a half. So six by six and a half on the six and a half inch side, score a half inch. Same thing, repeat that. You can have two of those, right? And here is my tool. about this six by six. I think I'm just going to come in, I don't know, I'm going to put this on the grid. I think I'll come in about a half an inch. Not too much because I want to make sure when the flaps are open you can still use the main part of the base. I'm going to come in a half inch. It's going to be flush with the bottom. I'm just using my grid. You can put a tick mark there if you feel uncomfortable with that. So one is going to come up and one is going to come down. And again, that's because I want to want it to open up and have all this photo space. Put this back on the grid. Use the grid to offset or inset half inch. So we are ready to lay down the, um, the base background. Good. Looks lovely. Let's put that over just a tiny bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm going to have the top one come down. So I'm going to go ahead and add our magnets. Maybe. They're all stuck to each other. I'm just running it around to see if it's going to naturally want to attract to a mag the magnets on the other side. I'm going to make sure I've got, I'm going the right direction. I'm going to get my fat tape and we're going to lay it down. I'm not going to think for a second. I'm thinking about doing some color blocking, so let me give this a little bit of thought. Um, right now, okay, so I, make, I created these two little tabs um, that I'm going to add to the bottom to pull this red tab back in. So these are four inches across and they are one and a quarter inches wide. So they're basically the same size as the top of the inserts on the opposite page. So that's going to create this unification. So um, part of the reason I, I'm telling you this is I want to look at whether I want that look 
or if I want the tab to be going up. It's not that much of a difference, but I'm going to set it next to page two so we can take a look at it and then we can make a decision. So that kind of creates this parallel. And then the um, alternative would be this. Now I created one for each of the panels, but of course only one's going to be on top. And I think I like it uh, down here. Um, it just kind of opens up the space a little bit more. So I'm going to think about that for a second more. And then um, either way, we can go ahead and lay our panels down. The uh, No, we can't. I can lay this one down. Um, and the reason I'm trying, I'm going back and forth is because um, it'll change the orientation of the magnets. Now, I'm not going to put a magnet on the top. Yeah, okay. I am going to put it on the back side of this. So then we can lay down the second panel. Okay. So there we go. That's good. So the magnet's going to get installed right about there, I think. Oh, wait a second. I need to figure out what we're doing on the back side because I might have to do some color blocking just because I'm running out of paper. So give me a minute to come up with the B side. And then once I do that, um, we can place our magnets. Um, and if I do color blocking, it'll likely be a strip here or a strip here which could influence where I place that magnet. So hang on just a minute. Okay, I figured it out and I made a mess while I was doing it. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Okay, let me clean up some of this mess inside of our field division. Okay, so we, I am gonna do some color blocking. And so this was trimmed off uh, the 12 by 12. Hmm. Which side do I want? Do I want this side or this side? I like this side because it's pulling this uh, pattern back in from the base. So uh, this was a 12 by 12, I believe it was background. Let me see. Hmm, I'm not sure. I've trimmed it down too far. It could be the back side of this. Or the or the um, the background. Let me see if I can find it on the back. Here's the background. <clears throat> twelve by twelve collection pack. Okay, so this was a trim piece from the twelve by twelve collection pack, and this is it happens to be two and five eighths by six, two and five, actually two and five eighths by five and seven eighths. And it just turned out that way because it was a trim piece. So it's a little bit awkward. Okay, so uh, because I know that now, we can place our magnet and we can place it where I had originally planned. If I can find the one with tape on it, I know what I did with it. So we're just gonna tape this one down. It's stuck to something. I'll find it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that right here. Somewhere stuck on the back of something is, um, is a magnet. I'll, it'll turn up. Okay, so now we can place the, the other magnet and finish. Covering the panel. <clears throat> okay, I was just making sure they're going the same direction.
Okay, there we go. Too much glue. Okay, I am now that I know that I'm going to put these two trim pieces. I'm going to go ahead and lay these down. These are going to be on the front, so we need to find something to cover the back. Uh, but I'm going to make this design choice first, and whatever I do here is probably what's going to wind up on the back of those. So I'm going to hold off on installing those. It looks like I did not ink these. <clears throat> Everybody's doing well. I want to thank everybody, you know, for spending time with us over here at Scrap and Create and then going over and shopping with us. We really appreciate it. Um, we had a great year last year, and that's all due to you, our viewers. So we, we want to thank you, and I hope you're having a great new year. And, um, yeah, thanks. thanks as always for giving us your time. We're doing really well on the subscriber count. Um, we're almost to 21,000 subscribers, and I appreciate that very, very much. So we're going to keep the content coming. Oh! So if you haven't already, you know, please like, share, subscribe. Do that real quick before the glue dries. I can see my white core peeking out. I don't think I've mentioned it yet. Uh, this is a powder puff mahogany. Uh, my go-to is the darkest, whatever the darkest brown is that powder puffs is producing. That's that's what I go to. I don't like to distress in because most of the papers that we're working with already have distress uh, in the image itself. So I don't I don't add much more. I just knock off the white core. That is a personal preference. Okay, I just want to keep sure keep track of my orientation. Okay, so I have selected the pattern that's going to go here, and it is this wood. And I honestly don't know where this came from. So the back is the tile. This is from the patterns. Sorry. The backgrounds. I keep saying patterns. It's, it's ingrained in me because of graphic 45. trimmed really really crooked I don't know why so let's see we're gonna go I don't know if it slipped in my trimmer or what but let's straighten it out there we go perfect Try fit one more time, and we can take another flavor off. Okay, that's going to do it. Oh, I think I like that better. I do. So let me see if the other piece I have. So the other piece I have, I can't, that's probably why I chose it, is um, 
Let me see if I can find a big piece of this, or four by six anyway. I can't. Nope. I have the trim piece only, and um, I think that's just a little bit much. I don't know. What do you guys think? I sure like that, though. If I had another piece of it, I would uh, probably use the tile. Let's see. Oh, I do. It's right here. So I am using actually two, two packs of the pattern. So I am going to... I think I am going to... Um, I'm trying to decide if I like that or not. Um, I am using two packs of the uh, backgrounds. Um, you're going to need it. Okay, so what is this? It is two and a quarter. It doesn't look, oh, how did I get that so far off? It's three and a quarter. Dun -dun. Okay, that should do it. Okay, we're gonna dry fit these, make sure they fit. That's right on. It's already inked. I like that contrast. Hmm. So I trimmed off this little strip, so that's something you could add um, to the bottom if you wanted. Um, as usual, I'm always under pressure to get something out, so I, I don't do as much of the embellishing as I would if it was just, um, if I had all the time in the world. <clears throat> so I would take that strip and use it somewhere. Um, but I'm kind of under pressure because both Stamperia and Graphic 45 releases happen at the same time. So in addition to everything that came out with Stamperia, there's three new collections with graphic that I've got to get to as well. So, but most of you guys are experienced paper crafters and I'm sure you add all your bling bling after you build your base album. <clears throat> Although I do think color blocking goes a long way to making it feel um, embellished. I think, anyway. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know. Um, right after this album, I, go, I am going to be working on graphic 45, page four. Okay, so now that we know what the back of this looks like, we can, we can make a decision about the back of this. And because we have that down there, that's what I'm gonna put up here. So I'm gonna cut um, four inch strips to cover that. Mm -hmm. Or three and seven inch. Okay, so I'm gonna cut two of these. Should go the other way. And cover the backs. And then page 
three will be complete. Okay, I'm gonna pull in my corner chopper. I'm using the stub. Now here, because I had a full tile, that's what I want to appear on the top. The half tile is what's gonna be tucked behind. Okay, I'm going to use my Tim Holtz ruler and find the midpoint and the midpoint and then install this. Of course, I know the midpoint is three because it's a six inch. And this is four, so the midpoint is two. Probably about right. Mm -hmm. How about that? I like it. And we could probably still add something here. So again, it looks funny with the red, but when you pull in page two, uh, it works. So I'll probably add another something here to um, pull in more of the colors that we see on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and install. Whoop, we first have to trim this. It looks like we have another full tile here on both sides. So I think I'm going to do this. Hold on. Okay, so now we've got our full tile on top. There's that magnet. I was stuck to my pen or pencil. Now this one, my trimmer doesn't accept anything this small, so I'm just going to use my ruler and my cheap box cutter. I just use these because I don't like changing the blades out. They're cheap. And I go through them because I, I refuse to cut with a dull blade. I don't care how much it costs. It's too hard on my arthritic hands. Okay, we're going to stub the corners. Make sure the chopper is all the way open. I do that all the time. Put down the wrong side. Okay, lovely. I don't really need to ink the bottom because it's not going to show. Okay, where did I do? What did I do with my red piece? Oh, for heaven's sakes. I'm looking for this. Good night now. It should be sticking straight up. Here it is. This flipped over, that's why. Right. I was looking for red and it was the black side. Be 
beautiful. Actually, this way. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so we know we have a full tile exposed. Just like we did on top. And this one, I think I'm just going to, well, no, I shouldn't do that. I was going to say I was just going to eyeball it, but I probably shouldn't. Okay, there's my three. There's my two. You know what? It's not in the right spot. should there we go yeah it should be right behind it just like this one is right in front of it so there we go okay that's page three everyone I'm gonna burnish everything down into place then I'm gonna take a few minutes and see if I can't find something else to pull some of those page two colors in um, to make this look a little more to create a little more flow between the two pages be back soon Okay. All right. So after digging through all the goodies that you can cut apart or um, chipboard pieces, I selected this and this is actually a cut apart. So it's going to lay pretty flat. And I don't like to put too much embellishment um, on my inside pages because they can conflict with each other. So it's nice and flat and it brings in a little bit more red, but still leaves room for um, a photo here. So I think you could put a three by five photo here and that would be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna set aside the rest of my goodies and we'll, we'll take a look at those a little bit later on when we, um, as we continue to work on the book. Okay, I'll be back soon guys and we will start on page four.